Good morning. Hi, Ed. Hey, apologies for the confusion. Good morning. Hi, Ed. Hi, guys. Hey. All right. <clears throat> yeah, apologies for the confusion. The, um, the, the new security measures we have don't start the meeting until the host joins. To, to join as the host right now, I have to log into the network service mesh account. And for reasons that I do not understand, my personal account was allowed to join. So I was sitting there alone in the room wondering where everyone was. <laughs> so I, I, we still need to sort out some of the details of, of all of this to smooth it out. Um, uh, most particularly, how to let people join if they just have the host key, um, because that would then allow us to um, you know, spread the joining out a little bit more and make it easier on everyone. And then I wouldn't actually have to, let me rename myself here log into this account to come in. So good morning. How are you guys? Good. Yep, I'm fine. How are you? Uh, I, am, I am feeling triumphant this morning. I just finally pushed out the to-go stuff that I, I dropped you a note about that I'm super happy about. So. Awesome. So let's see, shall we get going then? Let me see if I can bring up the, so for, I guess the question is, so like what things do you guys need at this point? Um, so I know Denise, you need to put a couple of questions asked for, a, answered by me from VL3 and I've noted those. And, and now that I've fixed my head up from the go, I think I'll go probably get to those fairly shortly. Um, anything else that you guys need? Uh. Probably to look at a few pull requests into this DK. Uh, ah, from okay. my side mostly, and that's all. Okay, apologies, I, I've fallen a bit behind. Um, let me take a look and see. Yeah, you, there, there are definitely some that have fallen behind. I'll go catch up on that this morning as well. Cool. Um, I will point out, go have a look. I know I sent most of you this morning the to-go stuff. Go look at to-go. It will allow us to have extremely clean and developer-friendly uh, Docker files. Um, mm -hmm. So basically, we can have Docker files that look like we're just doing normal Go stuff. But number one, the caches will always be warm. And number two, if we have local re replace directives, those will also work inside the Docker container that we've built. Um, which makes development tractable. Nice new look. Yeah, ended up being a bone simple approach. Um, Cool. Awesome. So anything else this morning? Otherwise, I'm, I'm inclined to yield back the time and we'll meet up at the community meeting at the top of the hour. Mostly I'm okay. Just you. Uh, SDK pull requests. I would like okay. if somebody okay. will look. One is to uh, slightly modify Aspire stuff to allow temporary folder and registration oh, cool. to, to a temporary folder. Also, it allowed to use it, uh, for example, on macOS, if a Spire agent and Spire server is compiled. Uh, okay, so, cool. So it's possible to use locally all the tests instead of running into the Docker. <laughs> yep. And a few more, you know, it's the kind of stuff. At the moment, I'm working on uh, Integration like callback stuff into SDK. So probably we'll uh, create a pull request tomorrow and cool. integrate all of this stuff into uh, send the manager application repo. Excellent. Cool. All right. Anything uh, else? Just just few probably questions. Uh, uh -huh. Interesting uh, related to registration of the endpoints. 
At the moment, I have doing uh, allow to specify few uh, listing on URIs to send them uh, NS Manager. Mm -hmm. And for any TCP ones, I plan to do a register of NS Manager into a uh, registry. And the interesting question, if we pass multiple uh, TCP address to listen on, for example, we could uh, specify a uh, few with a different IP address to listen on, potentially, it could be interesting. Mm -hmm. And do we need, or do a few times do register into a registry with different IPs? I think we do. And uh, interesting question for endpoints in this case because endpoints bind to one NS manager by uh, its uh, public uh, IP, uh, public address at the moment mm -hmm. in the registry and what to do in this case, because it's still one endpoint, but potentially it's accessible with two public addresses. Ah, okay. I, 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 I see your point there. Um, yeah, so I mean, effectively, a choice has to be made about wi about which address to, to register on with the registry. Yeah, um, yeah. And and so my 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 baseline point is, the, the the address you use to register with the registry may actually just you know effectively, it the way I, the way we traditionally been doing it is that you run your um. You you because you're running on a pod normally you normally have just the one pod IP address available to you. And so yeah. it's not really been an issue, um, mm -hmm. you know. Effectively, we don't even we don't advertise based on what we're, where we're listening. We advertise the pod IP, um, mm -hmm. right? Because that's where we, because it's not where you're listening that matters. It's where you can be reached. Yeah, uh, for a moment I could just uh, limit, uh, for example, uh, to be one or two connections, and uh, if it. Uh, user pass two it should be unix and uh, tcp for example yep and the tcp on will be used for the public and a uh, more interesting question here uh, at the moment in monorepo uh, for a public ip we do not uh, register uh, registry uh, grpc service and some other services uh, so it's possible to register and point only with unix socket uh, do we plan to have a similar approach in new version, I think? Uh, and in this so case, I, 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 yeah, I, I think essentially it, it comes down to a question of policy, which yeah. is uh, effectively, um, if you're a network service manager, as a matter of policy, you're only accepting incoming registration requests from uh, a Unix socket as a matter of policy. Um, yeah. Okay. Sounds but good. It's def we'll definitely an interesting. It's definitely an interesting question. Yeah. And, and the thing is, by moving it to policy, it makes the code more generically applicable outside of the Kubernetes space, where you may have different kinds of behavior going on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if the policy it sounds good to me. All right. Yeah. Cool. Mostly I'm okay in this case. Anything else? All right. Oh, yes. I will see you guys at the top of the air. What, yes, I'm sorry. Please, uh, please I can ahead. provide my status if you don't mind. Oh, that's marvelous. Please yeah. do. Oh, okay. Uh, currently, um, I'm working uh, in well, uh, three well, three uh, NC direction. Um, in detail, uh, in first, uh, I have uh, provided uh, the L3 uh, staff requirements diagram. Oh, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me uh, show the screen. Yep, and also I can uh, put a link into the chat if you have any questions or uh, thoughts, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> um, so, uh, okay. Are you see uh, the screen? Yeah, it looks like you're talking about. So is this a a, a, a Diagram of yes, uh, it's a diagram of uh, current oh, okay, okay. Uh, well free stuff requirements, uh -huh. uh, and uh, currently uh, I'm working on uh, memory registry elements. Uh -huh. um, uh, 
because of uh, we need uh, to somehow uh, test uh, for example yeah, it, some it, manager an in memory an in memory register uh, chain element for registry is completely brilliant because yes you can you then use that for for very localized testing cool uh, yes uh, and uh, uh, I'll have provide PR tomorrow for uh, this uh, chain elements uh, also uh, I have uh, prepared uh, diagram for uh, well VL3 uh, uh, interaction diagram of interaction uh, let me show it uh, I have provided also the issue uh, into SDK uh, repository um, and uh, currently this issue is blocked uh, you can uh, see mm -hmm. this uh, by this diagram yep and uh, here I have provided a simple uh, diagram of uh, inter uh, in interaction uh, uh, it is not final variant uh, you can take a look and provide your thoughts uh, or so no, this, this, this is this is this is this is excellent i apologize um i've been hyper focused uh on code in the last week i will definitely go get through this um and i would encourage other people to go take a look at it as well because uh, this is excellent work to sort of sketch out where we're going with the vl3 stuff oh cool uh and uh, mostly that's it. Uh, I just uh, focused on uh, memory chain elements for uh, registry, and that's it. Cool. No, the, the, the memory registry stuff should make a bunch of testing of things easier. Awesome. All right. Talk to you guys at the top of the hour.